rating. So supposedly this was the uh, lightest index, but you don't know. That I'll explain later. So this is number four reactor, and this is inside uh, from uh, from uh, the air. So I'd like to explain to you some several different issues. One is environmental issue, health issue, social issue, labor force issue, technical issue, political issue, and human rights issue. And can you see something that's missing here? Is there any other issue? One issue is very important that's missing here. Can, you, can somebody tell? What? Energy? Energy? No. Economics. Why I didn't put that language? Economic issue was the only issue that Japanese government has been working so hard. And
million curies of long lived radioactivity, about 134 million curies of cesium 137, roughly 85 times the amount of cesium 137 released at the Chernobyl accident as estimated by the U.S. National Council on Radio Radiation Production, Protection, MCRP. According to the estimate of MCRP, the total spent reactor fuel inventory at the Fukushima Daiichi site contains nearly half of the total amount of cesium-137 released by all the atmospheric nuclear weapons testing, Chernobyl, and worldwide reproduction reprocessing plants. What would 85 times more season 137 than the Chernobyl mean? It would destroy the world environment and our civilization. That much powerful radiation. So this is the, uh, just one example of the uh, affected area. It's just 2.27 uh, micro sieve per hour. Can you tell how high it is? If it shows 0 0.2 on this pair, I shouldn't be here. Now it shows 2.27. And recently on my Facebook uh, friends uh, photos, I see 9.99, which is to the level they cannot measure. That much high radiation has been around. So if you if, if there's an, uh, let's see. if you think that Fukushima's radiation emission was that's it, uh, March 11th, that was it, that's a big mistake. It's been emitting a lot more uh, radio radiation day by day. You know, the highly uh, contaminated water, radioactive water has been into uh, from the uh, Pacific Ocean. I'll mention about it. And how about the uh, local panel on land? After the, uh, uh, the uh, earthquake, Japanese government ordered the local uh, uh, ranchers to slaughter the cows. And there's one uh, courageous person uh, ignored the governmental order. Masami Yoshizawa. He decided to...
this is like 150 times higher than a uh, normal case. And uh, this whole um, uh, information is based on uh, the survey of last year. So right now, uh, they are having a much higher rate of uh, higher cancer cases. The health issue. What is happening to the children's health? So you can tell that um, they're losing their hair. And also, they're talking about the uh, nose bleeding quite often. Um, but so, besides that, there's so many different types of health uh, problems occurring in children. Um, talking to some of my friends who still live in Japan, um, having the same uh, age group of children, what I was, uh, what I was, uh, what I was so surprised was um, their uh, sons and daughters lost their uh, friends for a very, uh, how do you say, some, something unexpected reason. Like somebody caught a cold, and symptoms got worse and worse and died. And the younger generation is dying very easily. Um, big, my biggest surprise was the uh, uh, association of funeral companies in Japan uh, running very long TV commercial. You know how expensive to run a TV commercial, right? But uh, apparently, funeral industries are making big profits. I heard that when somebody dies and wants to run some funerals, they have to be on a wait list. So that much people, uh, many people are dying. That many. And uh, surprisingly, last year's Japanese women's average age was 86 years old. I don't believe it. I don't think it's the right uh, accurate number. So again, health issue. This is a comparison of uh, 2010 and 2011. And obviously, uh, cancer, leukemia, heart diseases, um, so forth, everything is getting higher than the previous year. If the government still doesn't want to admit this is because of the radiation, they have to come up with other reasons, but they can't. And here's a uh, picture of uh, mothers who got together in Kitakyushu, Japan. Do you know where Kitakyushu is, is? Japan is a long archipelago, right? And uh, basically uh, consists with four uh, big islands. Hokkaido, Northern Park, and the mainland Honshu, and uh, Kyushu and Shikoku. So Kyushu Island is very south, south of uh, Japan. Um, and the Kitakyushu is one of the si big cities of uh, Kyushu Island. And the mothers got together like this because they are against wanting uh, things to be happened in that area, which already took place. They were against the burning radioactive rolls. After the, uh, this um, accident, what happened was, that for some reason, the government decided to share the pain, share the pain of dealing with radiation. So they spread the radioactive rubbles all over Japan, splitting into different places. Let me explain a little bit better on this one. Um, Despite a strong resistance by local citizens, radioactive rubbles have been transported all over Japan and burned. Thus, contamination has been spreading even the areas where they could grow non-contaminated food. Many government contractors made a huge profit from this project. Also, each prefecture government made 100 million yen commission by accepting the rubbles in their prefectures incinerating facilities. Poorly managed ashes, ashes could cause secondary contamination of irrigation water, which could lead to food contamination from soil. Thus, 19 trillion yen, which is about which is about 100 billion dollars, recovery budgets later uh, increased to 25 trillion yen. Which is, oh, sorry. So, so 19 trillion yen budget increased to 25 trillion yen, which is about 250 billion dollars budget. Well, 
was widely spread all over Japan and not much spent in that big area. Notoriously, the word recovery was wildly interpreted and allocated to almost not related projects. So I'm, I'm sure that many people donated money to uh, this cause, right? But those donated money was uh, through a lot of organization and, and uh, you know, brought to the Japanese government. The Japanese government allocated all different places, mainly the projects, not much related to, uh, you know, uh, saving affected people, unfortunately. So this is a, a kind of huge human rights violation, and also they're kind of neglecting uh, people's wish to help affected people. And why did they just, you know? If they were given five years, all uh, contaminated rubble were able to be uh, processed in affected area within the uh, prefectures of Fukushima. But somehow, they, get, they gave only three years, which left 80% of rubbles could be nowhere to go. So they allocated those 20% rubbles to be um, incinerated, other facilities outside of Fukushima prefecture. I think, well, this is my personal opinion, I think government tried to uh, generate more business to contractors this way. And let me explain something about the, the uh, eco-cement. Have you ever heard the word eco-cement? Eco-cement <laughs> is the new type of cement, uh, including uh, incinerated ash into cement mixing. Now you are getting the idea. In Japan, they make cement using radio radioactive ashes. When you burn radioactive substance, it, uh, radiation level goes up to like a 20 times higher. So they put them together in the regular cement processing and using you know, public facilities. This eco-cement um, patent was given to several different cement companies, including ASO Cement, Asso Cement is owned by Deputy Prime Minister Mr. Asso's family. As of this July 1st, this year's July 1st, Japanese, Japanese government um, decided that any uh, public building construction uh, bidding, those construction companies who want to get into this uh, open bidding, they have to use eco cement. Please keep that in your mind. So they make those, uh, you know, uh, raw, uh, how to say, bricks and stuff to make a pavement. They even make a uh, kid's chair using this eco cement. And this is a new, um, you know, housing plans using uh, eco cement, but supposed to say zero emission housing, uh, very highly impacted. Let's go on to health issue and the food issue, social issues. So, um, this is uh, the blue one is an international standard, and the red one is Japanese standard after the uh, Fukushima incident. Before, before the, uh, uh, this accident happened, one back row one bankroll was highest limit. And after that, they elevated the threshold this high. <coughs> this is a standard for food. So right, right after that, they brought up to 550 bankrolls as the highest limit. And everybody complained so hard, so hard and now it's back down to 100 bankrolls. I think it's still high, you know, before one back row was highest limit. By the way, um, I stopped eating Japanese food after this Fukushima incident. Do you know why? 
If I want to eat Japanese food, I have to go to Japanese grocery stores and I have to buy imported Japanese food, right? United States of America, and this country has a um, this separate uh, radiation limit for imported food. Do you know what is the limit of imported food's radiation limit? Any idea? 1,200 becquerels. 1,200 becquerel is this country's highest limit of imported food. Okay? So, if Japan's uh, domestic limit is 100 becquerels, what do they do with the food that they cannot sell inside Japan? Chances are they will ship it outside the country. So, if I go to, you know, um, Japanese grocery stores in New York, New Jersey, or those areas, probably what I would buy is something that they cannot store in Japan. Therefore, I stop eating Japanese food. Do you like sushi? Do you like nori? Sorry. And also, this is a comparison of a food uh, radiation level in the food before and after uh, Fukushima acid. So what happened after this was, um, especially for affected people, this is a really, really serious social issue, great. Right? For example, separate food in, uh, ingredients used at home for meals, which means um, traditionally in Fukushima prefectures, they, ha they have the three generations living together, grandma, grandpa, parents, and children. And the children, as I explained to you before, they're very vulnerable to radiation. So young mothers tend to buy very expensive food from outside Fukushima Prefecture. Whereas grandpa's grandma is still growing food <coughs> using their own um, you know, land, so they don't understand why the kids cannot eat their own food. That's a serious generation gap. Especially grandpa's grandmas, they don't use a computer, they have no access to the social network. So what the Japanese government says, everything is okay, so you know, very safe to eat. As, you know, So mothers uh, who, uh, who've been using the internet and knowing what's going on, uh, in fact, uh, they would like to bring the subject of the relocation of their younger children, which caused a huge issue under the same roof. Um, it's almost like a taboo. Okay. So let's go on, and we don't have much time. Um, also, workers, this is very serious issues because uh, tradition, uh, not only uh, 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 nuclear plant workers, but also almost entire uh, industries in Japan, labor force is very highly uh, uh, segmented, uh, seg how do you say? What? Stratified, thank you so very much, <coughs> stratified. So the original company, TEPCO, Tokyo Electric Power Companies, uh, company doesn't have a, a hold on to what's going on toward the end of the, uh, uh, the ladder. And uh, uh, they offered such a high uh, price for the original uh, labor contractors, but when the contract goes lower and lower, uh, the uh, laborers are recruited. Um, in some time, many cases, they are homeless people. Uh, or job, um, jobless people, uh, they are recruited and by those uh, kind of yakuza type of people. So uh, they don't get insurance, they have no uh, health care whatsoever. So kind of being used as a, uh, you know, it's almost, almost like a tissue paper type of way of using. Which is making uh, you know uh, nearby fish highly radioactive, and uh, 
Reactor number four was not operating at the time, but actually it contains a huge amount of uh, fuel spent. Uh, it's spent fuel is hanging in uh, kind of ceiling. It's kind of uh, out of balance. They are right now trying to put the uh, spent fuel into dry casket. It's almost like a grabbing uh, machine in the supermarket. It's a much more sophisticated version, but they're working every day. However, this is supposedly inside of this building. <coughs> to me, it looks like a kind of a Hollywood studio. Anyway, uh, let's go on. Okay, so I'm sorry that we have to finish at this point. Uh, I'm sorry that I couldn't continue. Thing. And uh, we're going to have a, a Q&A session. So if you have any questions, and uh, both me and uh, Leona, please feel free to raise your hands. Thank you.